over 13 lakh students sit for IITJ exams every year. They spend one, two, and sometimes even three years of their life preparing for one of the most competitive engineering exams in India. And then when 99% of them get rejected, it's natural to feel frustrated and feel like a failure. But are IITs really worth all the trouble? Hi everyone, welcome to Insider Gyan. My name is Somi. I'm an IIT Delhi and ISB Hyderabad grad. I've been working in management consulting and banking for over eight years now. And through my experience, as well as my network on this channel, I bring to you some insider knowledge and gyan related to college and career decisions. So if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. The other day, I noticed on Quora, someone had asked if IITs are worth it. Kaafi logo ne answer kiya hua tha. Some had good points, some had great points. But I noticed that a lot of those students were very fresh grads or current students of IITs. Which means they were yet to know the long-term impacts of the IIT brand value. Which is precisely why I thought I'll make this video on Insider Gyan. So long story short, I think IITs are worth it. However, it is not the only path to success. Also, only the IIT tag is never enough. You have to continue investing in your growth and self-development. So in today's video, let me give you five reasons why I think IITs are worth it. Reason number one, the IIT grind pushes you to become self-reliant and focuses on all-around development rather than just on academics. At IIT, each SEM is approximately of four months, which consists of rigorous coursework, 75% attendance is necessary. Then there are surprise quizzes and sometimes you are even appearing for two test exams on one day. All of this while handling the pressure of extracurricular activities, project work, internships, handling your positions of responsibilities because everything in IITs are student run. A lot of times ITNs would spend the entire night practicing for an upcoming event or managing the logistics of their cultural fest or studying before the exams. Then they would barely sleep for an hour before running to attend lectures starting at 9 a.m., sometimes even at 8 a.m. This kind of rigor really teaches you to handle pressure in life. Kuch bhi ho jai life mein, confidence aa jata hai ki handle kar lenge. And that is also why some of these high pressure industries like trading, investment banking, consulting, they really love to hire people from IITs. Not because they're smart, but because they know that they can handle a lot of pressure. Second reason, let's talk about the tight alum network. In the IITs, you are studying with some of the best minds across India. Some of these people are going to be future leaders. So in a very natural environment, you are just building those networks without even knowing it. Plus, the alumni network is very strong too. The Alumni Association keeps organizing these events to keep the alum community intact. And more often than not, if you reach out to an alum for a job, for resume review, or in general life given day, it's very likely that they'll reply back to you based on the College Connect. Third thing, let's talk about the placements and jobs at IIT. Approximately 95% of IIT students get placed. That number is much higher from the other engineering colleges. IITs are the most highly ranked engineering colleges in India and they also have a worldwide rank in top 50 which means that the topmost technical jobs in India hire from here. A lot of these international roles that you hear about, the ones which give you one crore plus packages, they also hire mostly only from IITs, especially the technology companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Adobe. These are for computer science and maybe statistics students. But then there are companies like Novartis for biotech, JNJ or HUL for chemical engineering students, so on and so forth. And not just this, the non-technical jobs like investment banking or consulting, usually they hire MBAs from B schools, but for their undergrad recruitment, they focus mostly on IITs. Fourthly, let's talk about the IIT brand name in the research field. The IIT brand name is really recognized by all the international universities for research. In fact, it is one of the top most engineering colleges renowned for research. 
and overall it's second only to IISC. They also supposedly have great research infrastructure compared to other colleges. The pull that IITs have in research is actually quite strong. So I remember when I was in second year, most of my batchmates would uh, cold email all these international professors in the research field that they wanted to pursue for a summer internship. And just by emailing without any referral from the professors, almost our entire batch got some or the other internship offer from the international universities. And the majority of them also got compensated with really good stipend. That was actually the first international trip for a lot of us in the batch. I did it in Seoul National University, South Korea and have really fond memories from that internship. The fifth thing that I want to talk about is the pooling of resources. You have so many resources available under just one roof. Whatever be your interests or career goals, you are likely to find a community for yourself in there. And then enjoy the synergies by interacting together, by studying together. For example, during your third or fourth year, if you decide to sit for the civil services examinations after college, you are going to find a bunch of people who have the same goal. And then you can study together, you can share concepts. And then on the other hand, during placements, if you want to enter one of these consulting companies, you will find a group of people who want to do the same and you will build a study group for yourself to practice cases with, practice for group discussions, etc. Additionally, a lot of knowledge sharing happens from the seniors as well. For example, you can get previous year's question papers from them, project deliverables, just to sort of get a sense of what is expected from you. And most importantly, you get to learn from their experience because their experience is still very, very fresh in their mind. Plus, IITs are residential colleges which means most of the people are living in hostels and you are sort of forced to stay together, learn from each other's experiences. You just have no other way out. During the exam time, you can divide and conquer for efficiency and in general, discuss and debate difficult concepts. You know, the IIT brand name that you hear of, it's basically a combination of all these things that I just discussed. It gives you credibility that you can work hard, you can handle pressure, and hence it opens a lot of doors for you. I just want to end this video by reiterating what I said in the beginning, that despite all these reasons, IITs are not the only way of success for you. It does provide you with a good platform and definitely makes certain things easier for you as well. But it is really up to you how you make the most use of this platform. Hope you guys found this video insightful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments. And gentle reminder, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then, signing off.